you found it, a protein packed powerhouse. This is stick to your ribs kind of eating. Don't miss the key ingredients in our cowboy beef and beans. So here at Certified Angus Beef, we're fortunate enough to work with some pretty cool folks. I'm talking about hardworking folks that every day toil over this beautiful land, raising some incredible animals, creating amazing beef for us. I'm talking about family farmers and ranchers with an amazing work ethic. With ground beef as a centerpiece and a few fresh ingredients, we're gonna take some pantry staples from these farmer and ranchers pantries and put together a true, authentic, stick to your ribs, chuck wagon beef and beans. Let's get it started. Start by preheating your oven, and then we'll get a couple of those fresh ingredients ready. We'll dice two or one large onion. Onions are a great foundation for flavor. Get that ready to simmer, and then we'll get a jalapeno ready. One for those that like it more mild, and two if you like it spicier. Also, if you like it more mild, remove those seeds as I do here. Otherwise, just take the stem off and then dice the whole thing if you're a fan of the heat. I'll dice these up and then get on to some bacon. Take a half pound of bacon, and I'm a fan of the thick slice if you can get it. We're looking for a dice here, so I'll cut the slices in half and then cut into ribbons before turning and cutting into a dice. Into a Dutch oven or a cast iron, we'll brown the bacon over medium heat. We'll stir occasionally to avoid burning while you render that bacon. Pull out the bacon with a slotted spoon and onto a plate topped with a paper towel. We'll leave the bacon fat here for a minute in the pan to get our beef and beans cooking. Now go in with the ground beef over medium heat and break up those large chunks pretty quickly. The idea is to get better browning by giving room between these chunks for steam to escape. It's smelling so good. Once we're mostly brown, with just some hints of pink, we can add the other ingredients, starting with the onion and jalapeno. Give that just a minute to soften, then in with the barbecue sauce. I like to use this measuring pitcher because then I only dirty one measuring device. The half cup of water and the ketchup go together then into the pan, followed by a couple tablespoons of yellow mustard and finally the bacon that you set aside. Stir these together, bring things to a simmer, then add the rinsed beans. For me, a great trio of kidney, pinto and navy, one can of each. Stir together again, then put a lid on it and go into the oven. It's smelling so good. You're gonna love when you lift the lid. This has been so simple to make. Now my family would be rushing to the table right now when they smell this. Definitely want a hearty portion of this. Don't forget to leave some for my friends for lunch, right? It's so packed with flavor, oh, so good. This is easy on the prep and easy on the wallet. There's no doubt this is gonna become a staple with your hungry crew. Please press like and subscribe. And for more great ideas, check out our other videos from our test kitchen at Certified Angus Beef.